What is up? My name is Rubidium. Welcome to the Crimson Engine. Today we are at Canon Burbank to look at the video modes of the new EOS R. This is the internal 8-bit um, 420 that the camera allows you to record two pretty fast um, SD cards or one pretty fast SD card that goes in the body of the camera. In a second we're going to swap over to the external 4K 422 10-bit um, that's recorded that you can record via a HDMI output record. I'm using the Blackmagic um, Video Assist 4K. So this is the 8-bit and and this is the 10-bit 422 on the external recorder in 4K. Now when I originally heard about this camera I thought that I would be able to do 10-bit external 422 full frame um, with C-Log 1 on the external recorder, but it turns out that the only way to get that higher um, bit depth and color depth is to um, actually use 4K, which means cropping in on the sensor and getting the same um, field of view that you get on an APS-C sensor, so similar to my C200. I won't know how much difference the color science and the um, grain and all those other things are until I get back and look at them, but judging by the images on the monitor, it's pretty similar. There's not that much difference to it. You would have to um, really be wanting to do some pretty hardcore visual effects work or um, something that required every single piece of the color science in order to carry an external recorder and record to external cards. Another reason that you may want to use an external recorder is that this camera can only record for 29 minutes in video mode continuously because of, I believe, EU tax rules. But you, you can get around that and record um, non-stop on an external recorder like this one. A lot of people were uh, frustrated, shall we say, or um, I read one comment on my last video, uh, Canon has betrayed us. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty dramatic. Um, you're getting a APS-C sized um, MPEG-4 or 420 ProRes um, image if you use an external recorder um, in a pretty small manageable package with 422 10-bit, which you don't get on the C200 for one third of the price. So time will tell whether or not this camera makes a really good um, companion. Uh, to the C200, C300 range, um, whether or not uh, people maybe use it as a um, C camera or a stunt camera. You know, like if you're uh, shooting a car scene, you can rig one of these as a wired, you could rig one of these as a, um, you know, something on a crane, something on the top of a C stand to get a top down view of something. Really, just anytime you want to use a second angle simultaneously, but you don't want to go out spend another seven grand for another C200. So basically, uh, this is a in the lab, um, high quality video test of the EOS R video capabilities. Um, so check out the uh, footage, I'll post it somewhere. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.